big fish, Larry. <laughs> That's nice. I've seen that one come up and eat it. Wow. Watch Stick that and drag. motor. Stick and drag. Wow. Come on, baby. Oh, oh this. this. <laughs> yeah, right on. Hey, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today we've got a beautiful day in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And we are fishing for the giant smallmouth that Sturgeon Bay is known for. This place has a ton of fish, and we're gonna catch them with this guy right here, Brett Alexander. I'm also fishing with Andrew Wheeler, who works for Abu Garcia Fishing, and we're gonna talk about his rods, his reels, how you can be more successful on the water and put more of these guys in your boat. Stick around, we're gonna have some fun. Here he comes. Ooh, nice nice fish, Larry. On the drop shotter, huh? Yeah, I saw him and threw a whack at him and wouldn't touch it, so I switched over to the old drop shot. Got him to go. When bass fishing, what I always do, Larry, is I'll have like five different rods tied up with five different presentations. And when you get onto the fish, you throw something at them, they're not active on it switch it up and a lot of times when I come into a new spot I'll search real fast so I'll throw like a spinner bait or a jerk bait just to find where the fish are first of all and then you'll catch the active ones and then switch over to different presentations. Oh do a little splash for me will you? Boy that's a dark one Larry. That is. Lean in the rocks. Deep color. Ooh big fish. Oh yeah. There we go. You know we talked a little bit about the rods Brett, and you know a lot of guys are going to these longer rods these days and uh, these new villain 2.0s have a, a specific midwest rod action to it and you know the longer what we're talking about is backbone and we're also talking about tip backbone is the strength of the rod right here where you're going to really drive that hook set into the fish correct correct when you're talking about your soft tips here's what you're talking about right here the flexibility of the tip what i'm throwing is a senko it's a, it's a bear hook with just a worm and that's it, it's very light. There's no weight to it whatsoever, all right? Now what that tip allows it to do is it allows me to get that bait really far away from the boat. I can cast it a long distance with just a flick of the, the rod. You'll notice right here, all I'm doing is, and that's an amazing cast for a light lure. And that's what we're talking about in the Midwest action. A lot of guys fish with a little lighter tackle. So what you're able to do is you're able to get that bait far enough away from the boat, put more fish in your boat. Big fish. Oh, get her. Oh, yeah. What a save. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw that, but this fish came unbuttoned, took off. Andrew scooped with the Frable. Got her. Doubled up. Larry's got another one going here. Incredible fishing today. You know, we talked a little bit about rods today, but man, any kind of combination. You need a matching good reel with a, with a combo as well. Oh, that's a big fish too, I know, Larry. I know. Today we've got the new you better get that in that Revo, oh, and it is really smooth. Yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> wow, incredible. Double bump, double bump. Oh, is this one dark? I'm gonna net this, Andrew, and we're gonna go right back and net Larry's. All right, let's go over here. Woo, woo. Ooh, that's a, a doubler, fish. a doubler. Yeah. Now that's a net full of bass there. Twins. Look at that. Pretty fish. They are, aren't they? Beautiful. Beautiful stripes and everything. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You having fun yet, Andrew? Oh, I yeah. am. I am. I know that. We'll put these guys back in. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to ask you about these rods and reel combos that we're using. Tell us what you look for in a rod and reel that makes it so special that you have to design something new and exciting every time. I mean, what we look for really is we want to give the angler the best experience possible, the best tool for the job. So we're always trying to refine and innovate as much as we can. So we have a new series of Revo spinning reels. What we try to do is give a give an angler something that's really lightweight in the hand so you don't get fatigued all day. Extremely smooth, we have a new machined aluminium gear system in here so the reel will stay really smooth for the entire life of the reel. We have obviously have our carbon matrix drag, very smooth drag system, rocket line management system in this reel as well. It stops you getting wind knots and just allows you to make better casts. Rocket line management system allows you to have the bail angle 
the spool design and oscillation system in the reel so it not only controls the way the line comes off the spool but also the way you bring it back onto the spool which is really important so it manages it basically through the entire uh, portion of the cast. Oh beautiful. Oh no I missed it. Always net it as it's coming to you. Huh? There you go. Second time's a charm, huh, buddy? Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, and to spit it, too. Yep, just look in at, time. Look at that. And that's a handful there, huh? Nice, nice job. Folks, I'll tell you what, if you want to experience excellent bass fishing, come on up to Sturgeon Bay and check this guy out, Brett Alexander. You can give him a call at the screen below. Also, I want to thank Andrew Wheeler for joining us here today from Abu Garcia. Check out the latest in the new gear at abugarcia.com. I'm Larry Ladowski. Hope you enjoyed it. Midwest Outdoors, we're right back.